what's up everybody welcome to another video uh, today we are going to install the angle kit I've been drifting for about I don't know a year and a half two years on stock angle um, and so far it's been pretty good so I think I'm ready for the next step um, but before we jack up the carpet injection let me show you what I got all right so the first part uh, I got tie rod in this is part number here and this is the other side for left and right this is actually a Lexus GS um, tie rod in uh, this looks like some oh the nut the grease fitting there um, so it looks like this so <clears throat> I think the difference is one the uh, the, G the GS one is a little bit longer but I think maybe this bend might be a little different um, also I read online that if you install the right side on the left left side on the right because of this bend, it gives you a little bit more uh, more angle or more clearance there. Um, that's one. Here is the other one. So, kind of do that there. Yep. The next key component are the uh, lower ball joint. This one I went ahead and cut the tie rod in already. Um, which now that I think about it, I, maybe I shouldn't have because the angle kit sits on top of it and I gotta make sure I have enough clearance for the tie rod uh, so hopefully I did it I mean I tried to cut it as close as possible to this without getting too close um, I opted for the OEM ball joint only because this is a critical part uh, if you own a Lexus IS 300 you know that these are notorious for failing uh, so again I just went for the OEM one just because the reliability there so yeah all right last but not least the actual angle kit I got this from my buddy Kyle over at SD rats he's actually a friend of mine um, you may have seen his car before he had the orange is 300 but now he has a chaser uh, but he came out with his angle kit there and um, you know I want to support the homie he's local so I'm all about it and let's cut this here So, looks like a couple parts, toss that away, this looks like some hardware, right, yep, so we've got four hardware, four hardware there, and then this is the actual angle kit, so let's see, so if you, nice, shiny, um, so this, may this actually looks like the 09 ak49 knuckles or angle kit um so this is made out of 70 75 aluminum which is pretty strong or i think it's really strong uh it also adds about 35 millimeter um rca there so let me kind of show you how it works so this is your ball joint here this sits right on top oh wrong one uh where is my other one? All right, so this sits right there, just like that. And maybe I got the wrong one. I don't know. Let's see. There you go. There you go. So this is why you got to cut the OEM uh, tie rod pickup there and then extends it out and kind of uh, bends it right there. Um, supposedly, what Kyle said, this is actually stock Ackerman or close to stock Ackerman. And it's up to, he think he said 50 degrees um, there. But so this sits on top of there. And then you have your hardware that he provided. Um, it sits right up there. And it goes through there up to your uh, spindle. And then obviously the tie rod end sits in there. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty sick. Pretty simple. Um, I went with this kit because... You know, this is something that I can pick up at a parts store uh, if I needed to. If something breaks, I can go pick it up right away. Same thing with this one. Um, you know, it may not be OEM, but at least I can have an aftermarket ball joint and then, you know, cut it, fix it, and then be back on the track. Um, I don't think I'm going to have to worry about this breaking. Like I said, it's made of 775 aluminum, which is very strong. So, um, nice dowels there matches the OEM pretty well and uh, yes so what I'm gonna do now is I am going to uh, jack up the car 
and uh, put it on jack stands and start the uh, install. All right, so the car is jacked up, um, and before you say anything, uh, it is on jack stands. Uh, that's just there, just for safety. Can't go wrong being safety. So let's go ahead and take out the Tegi lugs, the wheels, and then let's get started. Okay, so to remove it, you gotta, you, you gotta remove this nut, which is for your outer tie rod. Um, you also got your spindle, uh, two bolts here, one here, one on the other side, and then eventually this one to replace your ball joint. This one, I believe it's a 17 or 19. Uh, this one is also, I believe, 17 or 19, and this one's definitely a 19 because it's bigger. So, I have it bolted in right now. I haven't torqued anything yet, and I put the wheels back on just to see you know the um the spacing and, and if i'm hitting anything so unfortunately i am hitting on the um cast arm so look right now i have it all bolted up i haven't torqued anything but it is hitting on that arm right there the cast arm so if, if i move it you can hear it i don't know if you can see it it's hitting on that arm now uh it's probably because of my wheels they're 18 by 8 i think 18 by 9 or 18 by 8 plus 22 so that's probably why um the i guess the only thing i could do really is to get a different arm maybe adjustable and have a little bit more clearance or go different wheel setup uh but the cast arm is a little little odd because of the way our, our suspension is so the adjustable caster, it works, but it's not ideal because the way the arm is set up, uh, you can put a lot of pressure on the lower control arm. Um, I don't know what to do yet, so I may, you know, weld or put like a stud for a bump stop or something like that um, to limit it for now. Or I may end up getting a cast, new caster arm, but, you know, be cautious of how much tension I'm putting on the lower control arm. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, but for now, I'm pretty happy with it. I am going to do the other side and that's it. All right. So I ended up, you know, finishing the install on the angle kit and there was like an event at a local track. So i quickly did like a toe plate alignment. I think I was like, what, 16th of an inch toe in, maybe toe out. I don't remember. Um, and I just said, you know what, let's just do it. Um, and then next time I, you know, I'll, I'll get like a proper alignment. Uh, it ended up being great, you know, uh, the kit felt amazing, um, you know, there was definitely a lot more angle than I was used to, I knew there's some areas where, like, I knew I would spin out, but this kit definitely saved it, unfortunately, I didn't really record that much, because I was kind of enjoying the moment, and just, you know, learning about the angle kit, um, but I did have two videos of my buddy, Tyler, who was with me, um, and I'll show you right here. So you can see one of, one of them, um, I kind of got a little bit excited there and uh, spun out the very last turn. But like I said, other than that, it, it, was, it was a great, great, uh, great test and tune day, if you want to call it that. So I'm excited about that. Also an update, um, after that day, we, uh, we quickly disassembled the car and uh, took it to the paint shop. Wanted to paint this car for a while and then finally uh, picked out a day where all my buddies uh, came to the shop and help me uh, prep the car and paint it. 
So I'll show you right now. Sorry about the mess here. Uh, but yeah, so now it's purple. Um, it's a custom purple color here. I love it because a certain you know shade of the day or whatever, it's slightly darker right now. It's kind of uh, bright purple. Um, so pretty stoked about that. Let me show you right there. So um, the car's in the garage right now because I actually am about to start on the Zero 09 bushings. Um, rear subframe bushing to be exact and also some wheel studs that I have uh, right over that I have uh, right over here so I got some extended uh, wheel studs and then also my diff and subframe bushings as well so I'm excited starting that it's pretty cold outside um, but I'm probably get a heater but uh, yeah and again um, you know I want to thank all my my friends um, without them I wouldn't have probably never paint the car uh, so thank you, you know, Austin, Tyler, Brandon, Hunter, um, Jonathan, and Omar for painting the car. Uh, it turned out great, uh, and I love it. So, um, yeah, so thank you for watching, and stay tuned for the next one. Peace. <laughs>